Bryce, bronze medal. So how are you feeling about that? Honestly, a little disappointed. Uh, for the first time, I just didn't race it as like a smart racer, and so I kind of just got myself stuck in a tough spot tactically, and felt myself just working, working up and working around the whole time. Uh, it's tough to get around those corners. Like I kept looking for a pass, and it just you have to use more energy than you want to. Uh, but we came to that last straight, and I kind of just went for it. Obviously, I think it would be different if we had 100 meters worth of straight. That's where I usually come on strong, but. We'll take the we'll take the bronze medal. It's it's a good place to start, and I mean, just luckily we have a world outdoors coming up soon, and so uh, we'll just go up from here. I hope. It went down very hard. Were you expecting that? You ready for that? I wasn't. I think that's where it got me. Uh, I mean, I should have known just with Marco in the race. He's a great front racer, and so I don't know how that slipped by me. Just wasn't like I guess mentally prepared for that, and just found myself far back right from the start. And again, like I was just working my way up, but. Can't be mad with the bronze medal. I was hoping for more, but it was a good race. When did you realize, like, oh man, the pace is going pretty quick, like, I should actually be further up? <laughs> right from the start. Uh, it was probably like 10 steps. I looked to the corner, and before we could even get to that first straight, they all made up the ground on me. And so I was like, oh no, this is going to be quick. And so I had to just put in a little more gear. But I mean, when you're racing guys like that, it's, you got to put in, put in pretty quick. And just found myself in a spot that I wouldn't like to be. Usually, I mean, if you watch some of my past races, I like to sit on that second spot outside corner. I uh, didn't get there in time and just kind of, it was a different race and I uh, just, I don't think I was mentally prepared for it, but I mean, hey, we, we still race for what we could do. Well, this, I mean, this is one of the, got to be one of the toughest tactical races to be in, though, the indoor 800. I mean, that's Absolutely. Longer, it's, right? it's tough. Like, I like to, uh, to think, I'm like, obviously I knew how the race was all playing out and it was literally just... I physically couldn't put in the energy to get around those corners without with enough time yeah. and because they're they're all making their own moves as well and so you try to make that move get around the corner and someone responds to it and it's just like all right you can't do it then and you just keep looking for those spots and just didn't play out until i mean everyone's already gassed and i usually have a little bit more to give and so it's just frustrating because like i gave it and it just wasn't wasn't at the right time and it wasn't enough and so it is how it is yeah. But you did, you had extended the U.S. medal streak, three, three straight championships. This yeah, I mean, we got bronze. I was hoping for gold, but I mean, we'll, we'll start from here. It's a good starting point. I mean, it's my first world medal, and uh, you got to start from somewhere, I guess. So I'm excited. I'm excited, though. Yeah. Yeah. Any other lessons to take away from tonight? Be ready when Marco's in the race for it to go out fast, I'd say. Uh, I don't know. I think... I think I kind of, like, went over all the lessons, but definitely just be more more on edge and ready for that which should go out quick and be able to play and roll with the punches when I don't get the spot that I want and so it was kind of just tough dealing with that and I think that I learned a lot from that. What will you do before the, uh, what will you do before the uh, summer season? Uh, so I think I'm going to take like just a slide break and then we'll probably roll it up easy not do too many races and get as ready as we can for Eugene outdoors. Uh, that's going to be something special. I think the US team is so hard to make and so you just got to be ready for it but i think just to uh, do everything we can to be ready for that and get on a fifth consecutive u.s team what yeah. is like uh, sorry what is light um light period for you do you have uh, days or totally days of no no running at all uh i do i kind of play a little more relaxed uh, i probably take like one day off a week and uh but i do hit the all, all the other days pretty tough and my coach has kind of been getting on me for that just because it's, it's tough when you're coming into the racing season when you're just like putting it and putting it more onto your body. And so I think I like the high intensity and then get my rest in when I can, but uh, it's a pretty, pretty intense, like just, uh, I guess, intense training rather than like long miles and stuff. And so. How, how, how can you explain your whole season? Sorry for my English, like Are you in good? a few words. Uh, I mean, the whole season has been great. Uh, it's kind of been a short one indoors. It's never that long. And so you just get the races in when you can. Uh, and it's, it's been something special. I came out strong. Uh, didn't do too well in the New Balance Indoors against one of the Spain guys. Lost to him again. Uh, I think there's just lessons to be learned from this. I wasn't as sharp as I was. Again, I was kind of coming off for the injury from that Olympic season. And I still think I'm trying to get back to that full strength. But, I mean, we're almost there. And I think just once we're back, we'll be, we'll be doing some incredible, incredible stuff. You mentioned, like, a mysterious rib injury at New Balance Indoor Grand Prix. Is that still... Are you still dealing with that? Or are you healthy now? Uh, we're healthy now. I mean, that was just something stupid. I kind of just, like misplaced the rib a little bit uh so it was, it was tough getting that back into place and uh kind of getting healthy from it again but actually just one of the things that from the olympic season that i didn't talk about was i had a, I had a quad strain it was actually like a slight tear in it and so i was dealing with that the whole season but we 
we're kind of coming around from it now and so hopefully be full strength soon yeah. so yeah what was your hardest workout in this build up before the Belgrade? uh i'm not sure i think usually when you're coming into the races you kind of start easing it off and just doing quick speed but i mean the 532 workout that my coach always has do short rest and just high intensity is always a tough one has has some of the guys on the college team always throwing up after that one but i like it just because uh, that's where my strength is and I get to show off for the college guys a little bit who I train with and so that's probably the workout that is toughest and the most fun. And where do you view like a world indoor bronze in sort of the grand scheme of accomplishments in the sport? Uh, I think it's up there. I mean indoor is always always interesting just because like you want to be doing it but it's also tough because like you want to have your goals set on outdoor and it, it's tough to keep that high intensity all throughout the year and so you're trying to peak for this but you're also trying to build up until where it's more important. I definitely put it up there. I mean, I think it's a great stepping stone to like finally get a medal. And now that I've had that bronze medal, it's like, all right, like you've done it. And I mean, all there is is silver and gold or yeah, silver and gold ahead of you. And so I think it's definitely a great mental thing to where I'm not going to want to settle for less than that. And so it's, it's special to have for sure. Any predictions for the women's final? I think Ajay is looking great. Uh, hopefully she can pull off her team USA. I mean, we were just talking at breakfast this morning. She's feeling good. Uh, we'll see what she can do out there. No no a thing move right now and so i think it's the us is for the taking with ajay all right yeah. 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 Yeah.